<clears throat> okay. So I was talking to somebody today, and he brought up the question of what is unconditional love? And, the, yeah, I can see why that would be an issue, and it'd be a question for people, because love, the word love, has been so messed with uh, on this planet that love is almost always associated with romantic love in one, in one way or another. Even unconditional love has been attached to a romantic love in some way, or a love that isn't doesn't have anything to do with really love like you love your kids but a guy can't love their best friend uh, because the word love has been messed with so much so I was telling him I was trying to figure out a way of explaining it and I suggested he lives on the coast in California and I suggested uh, that he go out and think of uh, being on the beach a beautiful night everything's perfect and watching the sunset in that moment of a uh, total appreciation no judgment no expectation that moment when you're looking at that sunset and loving that sunset that is is um, unconditional love there's no conditions to that love uh, the sunset isn't going to do anything for you. You're not going to do anything for the sunset. If the sunset uh, stops setting, <laughs> maybe that would be a condition. But in that moment, that feel that you have of appreciating that sunset for what it is, exactly that moment, appreciation of the sunset for being the sunset and the beauty that is the sunset, that is uh, unconditional love. Now all you've got to do is take that feeling and imprint it on everything and everyone. Easy, right? <laughs> I want you to look at every moment of every day with that kind of love, appreciation, acceptance of not needing anything from them, uh, not expecting anything from them, not expecting anything uh, more than that out of yourself. Just uh, appreciation of that person and that beingness in that moment does that make sense so that's what you're that's what you're looking for and when you take out that judgment and when you take out um, when you when you take out that expectation of getting something or receiving something or that expectation of giving something to someone that is unconditional love. And I would use another word, but there really isn't another word. I could say um, acceptance, uh, appreciation, but appreciation implies that there's a not appreciation. So that doesn't really work either. So we're just going to have to re-identify unconditional love in its truest sense, and that is an acceptance of exactly who and what everything is in the moment as being perfect and that leads to perfection what is perfect well all things are perfect to me uh, if you're looking at it from a God's standpoint a standpoint of a creator God um, everything that that creator God is creating or visualizing or what goggles they're putting on there are perfect yeah so even if you don't agree with that creation, if you don't agree with their experience, you can look at it from the standpoint of it is a game and their creator God creating perfection for them in the moment, right? Because there's no such thing as perfect anyway. I mean, there really isn't. If you really look at it, what is perfect? What does that mean exactly? Uh, we use the word of perfect, but we don't even have uh, something to set up here and say, okay, this is perfect, because there is no such thing on this planet in this place. So when we take out that thinking that perfect is, or we change the meaning of perfection, and perfection is now uh, that leaf is perfect, and everything that a creator God does and says is perfect, because as a creator God, you cannot do anything wrong. 
then perfection takes on a whole uh, different feel, a different look. Kind of like unconditional love. You have to approach it from a different perspective. And it, since it is the only words that we have to work with, we're going to have to change the meaning of them. Uh, rather than go with the flow and what the meaning have been, then we're going to change things and make perfect something else and unconditional love something else. We're going to have to change that. And uh, the people around you, well, I can change it for myself and have. So instead of looking at the game out there and saying, oh, uh, the one percenters are bad, then you look at it and you go, this is just a game, a movie. I am creating it. Therefore, I've put myself in the middle of a, of a of a game where the one percenters are doing this or that or Trump is doing this or that or the serial killer is doing this or that that's your creation and it's perfect it's perfect it's perfect just the way it is and if it's not your idea of perfection then it's up to you to change it okay so none of this in this game that I've come to recognize as a game is perfect to me so therefore, I am in the process of changing it to what I believe will be more perfect for me. Of course, as everything is perfect in that I unconsciously created this, this place and agreed with a lot of other creator gods to be here. But now I'm taking control of things and now I am taking it to a more perfect place for me. I am when you make it better and better and better and better and there can always be better and better and better not that anything was wrong with where it is nothing is wrong with where it is and anyone who wants to stay in a game that's similar to this then uh, good for you I'm glad but for me I've decided that I am going to create a better place even though I recognize the perfection in what everybody has created I've decided that I am going to tweak it some. That I've decided that I want to go to a place that I have called 5D. A set of goggles that I've called 5D. That you may put on the goggles and join me and you may not. And that's cool either way. It's cool either way. So when it comes to, back to unconditional love, that is the best way that I know to describe the vibration of unconditional love is that accepting uh, of knowing that sunset or, or whatever it is that you can look at most of the time with me it's nature that I can when things that, I, that are right in front of me don't feel too perfect that I can think of that sunset and then I can come back to the moment and see the perfection in it in the creators that are involved in it and even if you don't like what's going on in front of you, the, the fact that it's being created, that, that it exists, is pretty amazing. It, it really is. The goggles that are being put on and tweaked and, and um, out of that void, so to speak, of everything, to be able to put on limiting goggles so that it looks like this or that is pretty amazing it really is and from that perspective and with me knowing that it is a game or a movie that perhaps a creator that is doing something that is causing pain to somebody that they're all just actors and that they are nothing is happening against anybody's will then that makes it much easier for me to love everything and everyone do i have my moments where i don't yeah the x <laughs> lives next door <laughs> x number two lives next door yeah i have a lot of moments but i can correct them i can correct them very fast and uh learn something from my reaction to whatever has caused me to not see the perfection in the moment learn a little bit more about me and that teaches me how I'm creating the way I'm creating to get to a place where I'm creating something different. And in this moment, it is going to a place where I'm going to be creating something that is better for me now. Um, I totally get why this was created. I get why I was here. I, I understand all of that. 
and uh, there is perfection and there is love that can be seen in difficult games. Uh, like I've said before, I'm amazed at the humans and their ability to live repeatedly in this and in this rather more difficult circumstance. But difficult does not mean that it is unlovable. Uh, it, like I've said before, it's easy to marry. It's easy to marry. It's easy to love the the happy-go-lucky nice person. It's much more of a challenge to love the person that's not so nice. Anyway, it is for me. Maybe it's easy for you on both chances. So now I take that. Uh, love that I have for that sunset and I can translate that vibration. I can move it over onto any and other, any, anything else, anything else. And I've got a lot of moments like that that I can draw on. Um, I love mountains and love the, the Tetons. I love Yellowstone Park, just about every aspect of that park. So I've got a lot of moments. Um, I love this puppy dog right here. And petting this puppy dog and looking at this puppy dog's eyes. It's easy for me to take that feeling, that vibration, and plop it on in these goggles and see other things through those eyes. Anyway, that's how I do it. Uh, maybe that'll help you uh, to find unconditional love that way. Um, if not, well, maybe something else that I'll say. Maybe it'll help you get to another place that will help you. Maybe on that whole unconditional love thing. I know it's tricky. I'm tricky using human words that have been, those words have been messed with a lot. Messed with a lot. I know it's tricky using the words and you only have certain words. But uh, that's what I would suggest anyway. Anyway, that's what I do um, in the more challenging moments. Okay. Alrighty then. I guess that's it for unconditional love. And uh, huge hugs to everybody. I love you guys bunches. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.